Guys, what feminine things do you do that you're not ashamed of? I accidentally bought women's shower gel once and now use nothing else. It just smells better. TBF with women's shower gel it actually describes the product with scented like lavender or honey so you actually have some idea what the results should be. Men's shower gel on the other hand is all like ice and extreme scented. Sit down to pee. Hear me out. You can play on your phone and relax for a few minutes. Yep I do this too. I also stand up when I shit. And x200b. Hear me out. You can quickly shit and go. Had a college level psychology teacher tell me that cooking was a feminine thing to do. I like to eat good so I cook. I or. Edit. Just wanted to clarify that my psychology teacher was a woman. An old co-worker of mine adamantly refused to learn how to cook for himself. That's my bitch's job. Double quote. I asked what he would do if she got sick and he looked at me like he didn't understand the question and said she would cook for me. Double quote. He is still single. Last I heard. Eats only fast food and junk food and had a heart attack a few years ago in his mid 30s. Drink feminine drinks. Fuck you Dave is drinking my Starbucks pink drink and my Dykeris. Give me a fuzzy navel and the jelly's drink you've got. Double quote. Two fuzzy navels coming right up. Double quote. Futurama was great. I like flowers. Girly drinks. Compliment my friends. Talk about my feelings openly. All things that really shouldn't be considered feminine but here we are. A close friend of mine found compliments from men. Including me. Very uncomfortable. The only people she ever expected to tell her she looks beautiful are other women. Her dad. And her husband. This bothered me more than it probably should hand. Take long hot baths. Complete with candles and bubbles. Do you have a tour boat? That makes it manly according to Chandler Bing. Apparently using fabric softener. This came up at a party once and the group consensus was basically that guys using fabric softener equals super gay. Masculinity is so fragile that even laundry chemicals aren't safe now. Maybe I should prove my manliness by eating a Tide Pod. Show your manliness by bathing in mud and washing your clothes using the blood of your enemies. Shave my armpits. Forgotten why I started. But just keep doing it. Hair retains odor. So smooth armpits stink less. I grew out my hair for the first time ever. At 35 years old. My grandma told me my hair was so beautiful that I should have been born a woman. Thanks. Grandma. It's 2020. You can make grandma's wish come true if you want. Get paid less than my colleagues. I feel this one man. The other day I was in a meeting with the CEO. CFO and my boss and they were asking the dumbest questions that I kept having to explain like they were all five and it hit me I am the smartest person in this room and I'm paid the least by half. Worst feeling ever. I use toilet paper to wipe the tip of my penis after peeing. Shaking it never worked for me. Just like women wiping the tip of their penis. Yes. I like it when my wife paints my nails. Don't drink often but only drink fruity fancy drinks. Like to wear short shorts. I don't mind pointing out when some men are objectively handsome. My daughter let me paint her toes but only if she could paint mine. I left it on and liked it so I'll let my wife paint mine every so often. I honestly enjoy it. Skincare and I actually show my feelings I guess. Just cause you're a dude doesn't mean you're immune from the sun. Everyone should be using sunscreen daily. And doing at least very basic skin care. So many of my guy friends complain about skin problems that have plagued them for years that could so easily be solved just by using the right moisturizer. It's completely bonkers to me. Apparently a lot of guys think cleaning your literal ass and asshole is gay. See. Feminine. So that probably. Seriously. How do you get in the shower and just not touch that area? Mind boggling. OMG I showered with my BF one time. I notice he didn't scrub back there and I asked if he going to clean his ass. He said no and that he has never done so ever. I was so dumbfounded.
I jokingly told him I'd clean it for him. Mayo I still bug him till this day to clean his ass. Lol no. Brazilian wax a few times a year. So smooth. I'm not sure if that's feminine. But I cry at movies. A lot. I'm 23 years old and most recently watched Captain Phillips. I cried out of relief for the character. While my country was locked down because of corona. I stayed with my parents. Where my 15 year old sister made me watch Coco because I used to have Disney Plus for Mandalorian. The result of Coco was that I cried 3 times. My sister also cried. From laughing at me. The whole movie was so beautiful and my feelings were all over the place. Then. Right after the movie we watched the short movie Lava. My sister said she wanted to cheer me up. As soon as the singer hit the first note and the main lines. The gates were open again and I was weeping like a baby. I just couldn't help it. That also was when I decided to cancel my Disney Plus subscription because I'd probably dehydrate from crying at some point. And I didn't want to give my sister the opportunity to fool me again. I shave my legs. Part of me actually wishes it were more common for men to shave body hair. Like. I hate showing off armpit hair. But I wonder if shaven pits would make people notice more. Seriously. There is nothing I like about body hair. So like a champion. I think everyone should at least know cooking and sewing basics. Both are also fun. Women's deodorant smells much better. I'm a woman. I use men's deodorant because. Even though it stinks. It works a hell of a lot better. I guess I just have extra manly pits. I listen to a lot of teenage girl music. For a long time I was very self-conscious about the music that I listened to and wanted my taste to be masculine and as a result I listened to a lot of music I didn't like and stopped myself from enjoying music I genuinely loved. Then one day I woke up and realized that wasn't who I was. And now I'll proudly blare my Taylor Swift or Carly Rae or whatever new girl pop disco trash whenever I want. So I've got a horde of stuffed animals on my bed. And I jeff what anyone has to say about it. They have been instrumental growing up and even now in helping me cope with anxiety and depression. They're my kiddos and my best buds. I have a 150 cm dragon named Belle and Nana the bear. Dorm mates call me feminine and gay for sleeping with it. Still do they have a dragon or bear guarding them from creatures of the night? No. I do. Gardening. This one kills me. I, female, grew up with one grandpa being a farmer and the other grandpa was a wonderful gardener and had a huge yard with tons of beautiful flower beds. How is farming considered so manly and gardening isn't? They're both just growing plants in the ground. I actually do both and don't feel particularly girly or manly about either. I just feel good. I offered to sew my buddy's uniform for him and he replied with what are you? A woman? I guess knowing how to take care of my clothes is feminine. I cross my legs like a girl occasionally. I guess. Not ankle on top of knee. But knee on top of knee. It's comfy. Same here. My dad sat like that so I copied him. Used to get tea for it all the time. You sit like a girl. Guess there ain't much there getting in the way. All that crap. Facial masks with my wife. I just started getting into it and I love it. I'm not ashamed to admit I enjoy quite a bit of pumpkin flavored fking everything one month a year. Depends on what you consider feminine. Cause last I checked I never put a gender on botanicals. Cosmetics. Or culinary. I like flowers. Perfume scents. Natural skincare remedies. I used to make soap damn it. Close bracket. I would love to meet another guy come up and tell me that my ass smelling like roses is girly. When a bug or some shitty lands on me I scream I scream so godman loud. Gossip and BTCH about people I don't like. This is feminine. My friends do this all the time and some of them actually hit puberty on time. My BF likes me stroking his hair at night so he can sleep. Even I've never had that most nights. He does sometimes. But often goes to bed before me. I'm a guy with hair down to the bottom of my shoulder blades. 
One evening. I was hanging out with a bunch of friends. Just chilling and watching YouTube or whatever. One of my, platonic, girlfriends decided she wanted to braid my hair. And it felt amazing. I love the feeling of other people playing with my hair like that. And although I wouldn't say I'm ashamed of it. I would definitely feel weird asking her to do it again. Even though I know she'd probably jump at the chance to braid my hair again. I just can't bring myself to ask. I'm a baker by trade. My feet live in kitchen clogs for 12-14 hours a day. My partner and I go on spa dates and get pedicures. When they remove all that dead skin it's like you've just been given a new pair of feet and it's heavenly. And it's good quality time with my fiance since I am usually passed out by 6pm for a 2am shift. I carry a purse. Not a man purse. Not a satchel. I mean it's not all decorative with shiny buckles and whatnot. I like having an assortment of things with me. And I don't like keeping things in my pockets. Girls are welcome to keep fighting for real pockets. I'll take a nice handbag any day. All the things. I don't really care what people think is masculine or feminine. I probably look like what most people consider manly but that is all secondary. If I want to drink a Shirley Temple at the bar. I order one and I couldn't give a flying shti less what anyone thinks. Masculinity recently has been a little corrupted recently emo. Being a man means having the character to do the right honest true thing. Always. And not giving shti what someone might think about it. Whether that means showing tenderness when appropriate. Or having a tea party with my with my daughter. Or having a fruity drink. Hug and tell my guy friends that I love them. Also baby talk to animals. I wear a ring every day. This ring. Is a mood ring. And not only is it a mood ring. It has dolphins and glitter all over it. It's not very manly. But I wear it every day. And have yet to get anything bad about it. And even if I did I wouldn't care. I work construction and a few of the guys I work with as well as myself constantly mother each other. And call each other things like sweetheart and baby lol today my buddy and I were working and he cut his hand. I cleaned it and bandaged it for him while we both laughed and he told me I had a soft touch. So call it gay. Call it feminine. I don't have king care nor will I ever be ashamed. A lot of us also tell each other we love each other on the phone or when leaving job sites. The voice we all do when speaking to each other is kind of like Richard Simmons mixed with Bob Ross. It is magnificent lol. I walked home with a pink lush shopping bag swinging daintily from my hand and I'd do it again because it's the only place I can find that deodorant I like. Not sure if this counts as feminine. But I trim my eyebrows. If I don't. They get bushy and stray hairs start poking at my eyes. So every so often I trim them with my razor. Pedicures. With polish. Perfect start to date night with my wife. Meet for pedicures after work. Go have some good food and enjoy the evening. As a runner. It also does wonders for my toes. I miss it. Haven't been able to do that since February. Maybe next year. I like girls running shoes that come in colors I can't otherwise have. I have peach and lavender ones right now. Which are just a bit small for me. I ironically listened to Nicki Minaj because my friends wanted me to become a barb. But NGL her music hikey kinda good.